Hi, welcome to this revision session for chemistry on the relative atomic mass and electronic structure. The relative atomic mass is the average value of the relative mass of an isotope of an element based on their redundance. So remember last time we looked at what isotopes were and they were versions of an element that had the same number of protons and different numbers of neutrons. So if I look at this example, chlorine is made up of 75% chlorine-35 and 25% chlorine-37. If we need atomic mass, we would need to do 0.75 times 35 because it's 75% chlorine-35 and that gives us 26.25. And we do 0.25 times 37 because it's 25% of chlorine-37 and that gives us Nine point two five. If we then add those together, we get the relative atomic mass. So adding those up, we get thirty five point five. Okay, have a go at the second example. Um, pause the video while you do that, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so in the second example, we've got copper, which is made up of sixty nine percent copper sixty three and 31% copper 65. So to find its relative atomic mass, we need to do 0 0.69 times 63. And that gives us 43.47. Then we need to do 0 0.31 times 65, which gives us 20.15. Add those together and we get 63.62 and that's our relative atomic mass. Now for electronic structure you need to know that the electrons of an atom are contained in cells surrounding the nucleus and these are always filled from the first cell outwards. The first cell can take use a maximum of two electrons. The first two electrons always go in the first cell. The second cell contains a maximum of eight. The third cell contains a maximum of eight. You only need to be able to do this up to the 20th. So as far as you need to know, the next cell contains a maximum of two. Okay, so you need to be able to write and draw the electronic structure of different elements. So if we start with sodium, sodium, we can see from the symbol on the periodic table, has 11 electrons, so we put 2 in the first cell, 8 in the second cell, and there is 1 left, left to go in the third cell. Drawing that out, we draw out our first cell, we put 2 electrons in it. Our next cell has 8 electrons in it, and we tend to draw our electrons in pairs. And then our third cell just has the 1 electron in it. Okay, any more, and it wouldn't be 11 electrons. Okay, next one, sulfur. Have a go at this one yourself, pause the video and see if you can do it, and then we'll go through the answer. Okay, so sulfur has 16 electrons. So, as always, the first cell is going to have 2 electrons in. The next shell will have 8, because we're getting to more than 10, and that leaves 6 for the third shell. So in drawing it out, we should draw our first cell with 2, our next cell with 8, and then our third and final cell with 6 electrons in. And that's all for this revision session. It was a nice short one, um, but I will see you next time.